If n is a positive integer, then n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 is which of the following? Well, first of all, three of the answer choices deal with even and odd. So let's just see what happens with that first. If n is even, then what we're going to have is even times odd times even. And this ha would have to be an even number. If n is odd, what we're going to get is an odd number times an even number times an odd number. As long as there's one even number in there, it doesn't matter how many odd numbers we multiply together. We only need to add to multiply in one more even number to make the entire product even. So in other words, regardless of whether n is even or odd, this product is always going to be even. So first of all, c is right out. It's never odd. And then the, the problematic words in a and b, it's not even only when n is odd or only when n is even. It's even all the time. So a, b, and c are all out. So that leaves us with only two choices. Another thing to keep in mind, of course, these numbers here, n, n plus 1, n plus 2, those are three consecutive integers. Whenever you have three consecutive integers, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, whenever you have a set of three consecutive integers, one of them is always divisible by 3. And it kind of makes sense because the the multiples of three, every third number is a multiple of three. So if you pick three numbers in a row, one of them is going to have to be a multiple of three. So here we see, pick three numbers in a row, and sure enough, one of them has to be a multiple of three. And so if one of them is a multiple of three, the product is, again, the product is always going to be a multiple of three, not only when n is odd. It's always going to be a multiple of three. It's always going to be divisible by three. So that means choice D is out. So that leaves us with choice E. And let's check that out. If n is even, well, then what we get is we get n has a factor of 2 in it. It's 2 times something times n plus 1, which is odd, times n plus 2, which is also even, which has a factor of 2 in it. And if we have two factors of 2, that means the number will be divisible by 4. So whenever n is even, this whole product will be divisible by 4, and the answer is choice E.